What's up, yo? Welcome back to the channel. Did you miss and, that? And all you Breaking Bad slash Better Call Saul fans, welcome to the channel. We are starting Better Call Saul, and it just made all the sense in the world. Once we were done with Breaking Bad, we couldn't wait a long extended amount of time to start Better Call Saul. This dude is a spectacular character. He's got his own show. It's still currently running on television. There was no way we couldn't just jump into this. So here we are, yes. season one, episode one, Better Call Saul. And you know, all we really know about this is that it's got Saul Goodman in it. Mm -hmm. And all we know is that there are a bunch of side characters from Breaking Bad in it. Okay. Don't know who, don't know what, in, in what time period this all takes place in, but Game of, Th but Breaking Bad has some of the best side characters mm -hmm. of anything that we've ever watched. So I am extremely fascinated to see what the stories are, to see how this takes place. Yes. What is like the theme of this show? You know, Saul is a very interesting character. And that he is. <laughs> for me personally, like I loved him on Breaking Bad. I am very fascinated to see how much I could tolerate of him as a character because he is very much over the top. He's always got a smart ass thing to say. He's always got some humor. And just, you know, just his whole shtick is just, it's really funny and entertaining as a side character in a really, really great show. I'm fascinated to see how my personal kind of take is on him having his, like, being the main focus of a show. What do you think? I think he, this is going to be fantastic. He cracks me up. <laughs> I feel bad for him sometimes. And other times it's like, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he's a criminal lawyer. Yeah. You ready to jump into this? Yes. Let's go, yo! What are making? <gasps> are those the cinnamon rolls that they're famous for? Albuquerque, didn't you go there? Yeah. Was that it? I will see. That looks amazing. <laughs> oh, that's um, a they're... Cinnabon. What the hell? Oh, he's probably not. Well, I mean, if this picks up where Breaking Bad leaves off. Uh -oh. He got all panicked. Is that post Breaking Bad? I don't know, because, like. He couldn't be a lawyer anymore after Breaking Bad. Spoiler alert. They sent him to Nebraska, right? Did they? I thought that's what the Cinnabon sign said. Nebraska? Yeah, this is definitely post Breaking Bad. allegations bully you into an unfair fight. I'm Saul Goodman, and I will do the fighting for you. No <laughs> charge is too big for me. When legal forces have you cornered, better call Saul. Aw, he goes back and watches his old commercials. Yeah, that's... So, so they're keeping, keeping the theme of these super cool cold opens. Yeah. <laughs> where they're basically giving you... His post, his post life. Yeah. And then they're gonna have a probably hit us with much earlier on in his life. Okay. Get to see him in the courtroom. Interesting. Yes, please, all day long. So, <laughs> judge. Oh, to be 19 again. Do you remember 19? Juices are flowing, the red corpuscles are corpuscling, and summer's gonna last forever. I'm so happy we get to see him in action. Do you remember? They did a dumb thing. Nobody got hurt. These three young men, near honors students all, were feeling their oats one Saturday night, and they just a little bananas. I don't think they deserve to have their bright futures ruined by a momentary, minute, never-to-be-repeated lapse of judgment. 
Sold. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> What'd they do, though? I know, right? Uh-oh. He's got video evidence. Oh, God. What did he do? What did these damn kids do? Somebody's leaving. And they all look down. <laughs> Kenny, Kenny, are you yeah, rolling? Yeah, wait a minute. Ms. Watson's fourth period biology class. This one's for you. God. Are they messing with dead bodies? Are they... Are they screwing dead bodies? Is that what he's doing? Sawing? What the hell? Nope! Put him in jail. Put him in prison. That was fucking awful. Wow, Saul painted... kids. Saul Point painted a very different picture. I did not expect that at all. Law offices of James McGill. How may I direct your call? Uh, actually, I don't have Mr. McGill at the moment. Could he meet you and your husband at, say, uh, Loyola's Cafe on Central? Three dollars. Uh, I'm validated. See the stickers? You're one shy. It's three dollars. I'm validated for the entire day, okay? Five stickers, six stickers. I don't know from stickers because I was in that court back there saving people's lives, so. Hey! hey. What's up? Now you either pay the three dollars or you go back inside and you get an additional sticker. Fine, you win. If I need more stickers, don't have enough stickers. Stickers! I think I'd look guilty if I hired a lawyer. Getting arrested makes people look guilty, even the innocent ones. And innocent people get arrested every day. Lawyers, we're like health insurance. You hope you never need it, but man, oh man, not having it? No. Well, this is a <clears throat> letter of engagement. If you sign it, um, I can get started on that defense strategy of ours this very afternoon. Craig, I think maybe we should sleep on it. Uh, absolutely. I mean, there's no rush. Yeah, nope. We will be in touch. Uh, Looks like he really needed this, yeah. this client. Use only flowers that look expensive. And the note should say, Dear Betsy and Craig, best wishes from your stickler for justice, James McGill. Well, no, no, no. It's paid out. Run it again. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, my God. What did you do to my brother? I was making a turn. He came out of nowhere. You freaking hit him, man. You ran him over. You ran over my brother. I gotta get the whole thing on video. Ah! Oh, oh, it's broke. It's broke. It broke his leg. Why does this? Why are you driving around and not looking? What can I do to make it right? Five hundred dollars. Five hundred bucks. Ow! What the hell, man? Listen, Starlight Express. I'm gonna give you a nine point six for technique, zero point zero for choice of victim. I'm a lawyer. Does does a steaming pile of crap scream payday to you, huh? The only way that entire car is worth five hundred bucks is if there's a three hundred dollar hooker sitting in it. <laughs> now, let's talk about what you owe me for the windshield. You what? <laughs> shit. I'm like. <laughs> oh shit. He loves his nail salons. He does. This is the Why don't you look? You work for people who have sex with chopped up head? Why you work for these people? Just lucky, I guess. It's quite an office there. McGill. You have zero messages. So bad. I mean, you know he turns it around. Yeah, but... Ooh-wee! That'll help. <gasps> what? Wait, I missed something. Hmm. That gave me a thought of the broken... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The paper towel dispenser. Yeah. 
I'm curious. Is this what... his parents or something? Yes. I'm curious what led to his name change. You have meddled with the primal forces of nature, Mr. Hamlin, and I won't have it. That's money for Chuck. Isn't that what you wanted? A measly 26 grand. One third of this place belongs to him. It's time to do right by him and cash him out. It's his wish to withdraw from the firm. Uh-oh. I, for one, believe he's gonna lick this thing. His office is just as he left it. His secretary's still on payroll. If Chuck can call this an extended sabbatical, then so can we. And you will atone! Happen. Don't know. <laughs> so that's what happened in church. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ground yourself? Yes, I grounded myself. The fuck? You gotta cash out. You know I'm gonna beat this. You know I'm going to get better. In order to pay out my share, suppose my partners are forced to liquidate the firm. My clients are out in the cold. My cases are scattered to the winds. 126 people lose their jobs. What happens to your cronies in the mailroom? Chuck, I'm going under. You are broke. You're going to be out on the street with all the electromagnetism in the world <laughs> raining down on you. <laughs> Hamlin's making you a chump. I'm going to get better. I'm going to go back to work and I'm picking up where I left off. He's sick. Yeah, well, what is this electromagnetism thing? He's clearly living without electricity in his house. Right, but why? <laughs> I don't understand. Howard brought this. He's concerned. Well, you have to admit it could be confusing. That's my name. I was born with it. I... Still. So I'm not supposed to use my name. What's he going to do? Sue me it's simply a matter of professional courtesy. Mm. Yeah, don't use your real name. Professional courtesy. Side <laughs> Wouldn't you rather build your own identity? Why ride on someone else's coattails? So he wasn't allowed to bring that stuff into the house. Right, because he can't. It's... Dance, Howard. Oh, I... The electromagnetic stuff or whatever. Yeah. Hey, fellas, we got business. Let me tell you about a young guy. They called him Slippin' Jimmy. Winters in Cicero are murder. I'm talking cold that freeze the snot right in your nose. Most folks in Cicero were scared of winter, but not Jimmy. <laughs> He'd feel that first cold wind come sweeping off Lake Michigan. He knew it was coming. Winter is coming. I know winter is coming. fall season. As soon as it was cold enough, he'd find a nice, smooth patch of ice. And he'd walk out on the ice, and boom! He would biff it so hard, people would come running from five blocks away. One good fall, he'd clear six, eight grand. I look at you guys, I see potential. And clearly, you know how to take a header. <laughs> right, but I gotta ask you, best day ever. Betsy Kettleman is her name. Every weekday between 2.25 and 2.50, wow. she comes through here on her way to pick up her kids at Kit Carson Elementary. She hangs her right. You come shooting out of there. You do what you did to me. You get in her face. You scare the bejesus out of her. I'm going to play it cool, give you back some of the razzmatazz, and once she's seen the fireworks, you This is not This is unbelievable. Happy ending. Seriously? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Two minute warning, two minute warning. Got it. This is nuts, are you serious? This is how, how he's gonna get back at them for not hiring him. Well, I hope it works for everybody's benefit. Yeah, I mean, hope he's got a good helmet. <laughs> right? <laughs> Need some more padding, yo. They're freaking out. I'm freaking out. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Nailed it. Look at me. Are you okay? 
Somebody say something. Cal, what are you? Just making a sandwich. Where's your sense of responsibility? <laughs> Whoa, she's low. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. She took off on us. She what? She, she hit and run. That's what I'm saying. She bailed and wailed. <laughs> oh, okay, just stay where you are. I'll come get you. You're following her how? We got our ways, yo. Okay, stay with her. When she gets where she's going, wherever she's Holy is, shit, dude. Wait for me. Hit and run is a felony. Since we fell in the honey pot. This is more money. So what do we need him for? Hey, uh, uh, hey, uh, yo. Hold up. Hey, yeah, he, what is the matter with you? You hit and you run. Make with a De Niro. Oh no, it's the wrong person. De Niro. See a righteous De Niro. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Talk okay. Hey, ho. There is something else going on here that is... <laughs> Not obvious. Open up, officer of the court. Good afternoon. This. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> what up? Tight, 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 tight. What the fuck? We're gonna end the episode there. Oh my ah. god! Ah! Fucking Tuco, dude. Fucking Tuco! That's nuts. Oh man, that's horrible. <laughs> oh my god. This shit, how did... How, how did this happen? How the car, did they get the wrong car? I think so. Like, what are the chances that that same exact vehicle is cruising around? Well, I don't, I, I don't know. But holy shit. It's good to see that guy, dude. Tuco was fucking awesome. He went tight, 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 tight. tight, 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 tight. <laughs> Man, so so they're trying to blackmail Tuco's mama. Apparently, that's not a good thing. Those kids are probably dead in there. That was as soon as the door closed. I was waiting for like a oh, pop, no. pop or something. But hundred I mean, percent. Also, dead. she hit them. So yeah, it's. Yeah, I don't I don't think any of that matters. I mean, obviously we don't know where Tuco is currently in his career right now. True. I mean, he's got a big ass gun. That's for sure. Shit. Well, that was good. That was very good. I like it. I I It was very slow. Yeah, it was I mean, there's, there's some stuff I don't understand. Yeah, I'm sure they'll explain all of that. Um, the whole Chuck <laughs> thing is like a big question mark. Yeah, like who is this? Is this his brother? Is right. he related somehow? Why is he living in his house the way that he is? What is he yeah. sick with? What is yeah? What is this? What is electromagnetic? going on? Magnetic. Yeah, like he has no electricity or power in his house. Yeah, and he has to like ground himself before he gets yeah. in the house. Like he had to take weird. all his like metal off, put it in the in the mailbox before he goes in the house. But one of my biggest things going into this was kind of seeing what a what a show based around Saul would be like, mm -hmm. or Jimmy. It's very fitting. Sorry, actually. Jimmy. Um, and I, I, I like it. I, he's uh, my initial response to him having his own show would have been like, I think it's too much. Like his character might be a little overwhelming, and it might be too much of him. But I like the first episode, which was about an hour. It was fine. I didn't. I didn't get annoyed. I feel like there's a good balance in seeing him because he's clearly in the shitter right now. A little bit. And he does a real good job. And we've seen this in the show of Breaking Bad before. That he's a real good pro at just flipping the switch and turning it on and being himself turned up to a thousand. Yeah. One episode in, obviously. And we are familiar with him from the previous show. But I'm, I, I think I'm going to enjoy seeing a lot of him. Just because he's a very interesting character. Like, he's fascinating. And getting, like, the creators of these shows, just the damn cold open. It just know, sucks so you good. in. So good. And, I, like, it took me a minute to even recognize him. Because the facial hair, the hat, like, I'm like, oh, that's him. Like, what? Yeah. Why the hell is he making Cinnabon? And then I remember, I think they sent him to Nebraska. Which I think okay. the Cinnabon sign said Nebraska on it. It did see Omaha. Yeah. So I just, I don't know. He's like, what's in Nebraska? <laughs> Remember the dude was making his ID? Yeah. 
so yeah, that was it's pretty cool that you but get I, to see a little bit of him post Breaking Bad, and then they take us all the way to the beginning. Well, I just he used to travel for work, and he went to yeah a place in New Mexico in all Albuquerque. You, I forget the name of it, but it's a famous. They make gigantic cinnamon yeah, rolls, and I was like, oh shit, thing. they're yeah. in Albuquerque. Like, oh okay, I I that's I just. Albuquerque folks. I thought we were going to be in Albuquerque. Remind us the name of the of that restaurant. It's been on like the food, the food, what was that? Man versus food. Mm -hmm. They have like a big certificate. Yeah, yeah. that was my first thought too. I thought we were going to be in Albuquerque for this Which episode, we are. So. Well, I mean, yeah, you know what I'm saying. The, you know what I'm saying. The open was Never asked. a big fast forward. Yeah. It's interesting. We get his real name and we start to see the breadcrumbs. The kind of story beginning of why he ends up changing his name. I'm going to assume this dude is some kind of mentor to Jimmy, Saul. But why do they have the same last name? Oh, that's a good point. What is, is this his brother? That's what I'm saying. Is this his brother? If we miss that and it's not a spoiler, let us know. Um, do not spoil anything. Yeah, of course not. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. Like, oh, you got to go create your own identity. And... Obviously, that's where Saul Saul Goodman comes from, which I think works a lot better because mm -hmm. he's he's obviously he looks like Saul. a Saul Goodman. Better call Saul. But he better call Saul. He also like, looks like a Jimmy. Totally. Yeah. It's it's fun watching him be so lacking his confidence before going into a situation that he's like rehearsing all of his lines. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of what. Uh, Jesse used to do yeah. before he'd like try to go harass someone. Yeah, it's like, which by the way, I I don't know that Jesse's in or not in this. I'm gonna assume he's not in this show, but maybe we run into him at some point because they're be cool. they're running Albuquerque. So yeah. I'm sure we might run into him at some point, maybe. Yeah. But I'm gonna keep the yo going because it's the same universe. We're gonna keep the yos going. I don't wanna and, I don't wanna eliminate the yos and. Church <laughs> yeah. and bitch. Yeah. <laughs> we got a couple. We got a couple bitches in this episode. Yeah. Son of a bitch. So <laughs> good start. Very excited. I'm I'm pleasantly pleased seeing the first full episode of Saul Goodman, seeing his whole character kind of focused on in a in, a, in an episode. Mm -hmm. Didn't bother me one bit. I really enjoyed seeing him. Yeah. So do you have any other thoughts? Nope. All right, y'all. Leave some comments down below. And the other thing we got to keep going, you got any emojis? Oh, shit. Yes, I do. Nails. Like painting nails because his office is in a nail salon. Yeah, and he's he's got clear history with the nail salon. Thing, yes, so. a little bit, a little bit. Uh, a skateboard. Yes. Damn kids. Who might be dead. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Uh, and then a car. Cool. Yep. All right, y'all. Bringing it back. The emojis are back, and there they are. You want to recap it? Nail salon. Or, sorry. Painting the nails, a skateboard, and a car. Yes, there you go. There are the emojis. They are there for you. Put them in the comments below. We absolutely love seeing them, and it's fun that this is back. This is cool. I love it. Yes. So leave your comments, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we will see you guys next time. We are rolling. Better call Saul. Hell yeah. See you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.